Oh, yes. <laughs> now, there was some pictures that I wanted to look at last night. Yes. <laughs> They're known as green prints, and I've been emailing them to law enforcement. Yes. <laughs> I just wanted every sheriff of the United States to know that when you obligate a mental health directive, <laughs> and it's fraudulent. Right. Because you say I committed crimes that I didn't commit because I wasn't in Brennan, Washington. Yes. <laughs> and I didn't attempt to contact the petitioner through a third party of the Brennan School District. <clears throat> I'm going to sue for the Class C felony. Pow! Of every judge, every sheriff, and every police officer <laughs> that has any knowledge of the public knowledge of those mental health directives. <laughs> Now, you cannot just arrest somebody because you think that you're going to cover up the defrauding of their civil rights. <laughs> now, I did actually communicate with law enforcement. Yes, I wanted notice of the court hearing from August 21st of 2017. Yes, but since I am homeless, they thought they'd sit on their laurels and act like they don't have to give me notice of court hearings. <laughs> now, I don't have an actual address. Yes. And I'm being defrauded of rental assistance. Ooch. Now, today I have an appointment to get the deposit in the first two weeks of rent. Yes. And I thought, well, I've got to stay at the homeless shelter at least one night so as to justify. Oh. Any and all benefits. Oh. Constitutional Amendment number 9 and 10. Pouch. Now, I'm making sure, Sheriff, you understand that you will never get out of prison. Now, I told you it was against the law. Pa -pa, pa -pa. Now, there's what's known as the RCW 9A.56.320 financial fraud. The unlawful possession production of an instrument of... Ooh. Now, I would say it's unlawful. Yes, for every person that has a copy of 9A... Oh, <laughs> RI.PDF. The unlawful possession and production of instruments... Yes, mm-hmm. Payment instruments, usually known as checks, yes, but they could be, uh, let's see, uh, protection orders, yes, that defraud the individual of financial rights. Now, yesterday I was mentioning inheritances, yes. Now, I'm supposed to get a job and you're going to wage garnish, boots. the uh, fraudulent disillusion of marriage where I was not given any notice of court hearings. Where our marriage certificate's from the United Nations, and you've used it to kidnap my sons and shield yourself from lawsuits. <laughs> now, uh, a person, entity with the routing number or account, a person is guilty of unlawful possession of payment and two or more checks. <laughs> now, there could be some financial fraud involved in this. Yes, <laughs> the financial fraud of issuing disillusions of marriage where I'm liable for back child support, ooch, welfare payments, ho, 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 ho. Now maybe some judges today could really look at what the fuck they're doing because it's an American citizen.